Burger King and relationships. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook. Get rid of your problems, not your partner. Now, I'm using Burger King in this particular analogy, but you guys know it holds true in all restaurants and all stores um, throughout our lives. But I'm just, they just happen to be the one today that I got to experience what I'm about to share. So they're being the example. I don't want anybody thinking I'm taking shots at them because they're just the example because I experienced it today. Now, what exactly did I experience? Well, I'm going through the drive-through to get me some food and I ordered two of the Impossible Burgers. I said, let me have two of the Impossible Burgers, mustard, lettuce, onions, and extra pickles only. And so she says, so that's four impossible burgers. I said, no, it's two. And then she says, okay, with cheese, right? I said, no cheese. Again, only mustard, lettuce, onions, extra pickles only. Okay. And then she repeats it back. She says, so no mayonnaise, which I know they're telling you what they're not putting on, but, but which is always funny to me, but it's like no mayonnaise, no ketchup, no onions. I said, wait, wait, wait. Mustard, lettuce, onions, extra pickles only. She says, got it. I said, okay, because I thought you said no onions. And she said, yeah, I got it. Get to the drive-thru. You know what was on the burger. No onions. <laughs> now, after I specifically said it, after I thought I didn't hear, I heard you say no onions, she still put no onions. And then both of them had cheese on it. <laughs> Woo! And I looked at it while they were still getting my drink. And I saw cheese no onions. And I was like, <sighs> all right, you know what? I can tolerate cheese. It's not what I wanted, but I can put up with cheese, no onions. Okay. I'll live without it because I wasn't going to sit there and wait for them to remake it. Now, what does that actually have to do with relationships? Isn't that the same thing that happens? Um, people ask, especially in the beginning, in, in this particular case, what did I end up doing? I settled. Instead of getting it the way I wanted, I settled. Now, that wasn't the reason for this conversation, but at that particular point, you guys got it. I settled. How many people are doing that inside of relationships? So, but let's get to the beginning part when she asked, may I help you? Now, in the beginning of relationships, isn't that what we ask? Can I help you? And we're listening. We're paying close attention to what our partner is saying. And we try to make sure we follow it to a T because why? We have an ulterior motive. We're trying to get into a relationship with this person. We're trying to connect. So we're paying close attention. Even when you're getting a person's name, because I, you, you know, you guys have probably said, I know I've said it before. Um, I don't say it often though, but I have said it before where you go, I'm not good at names. And the reason I don't say it, and I, I haven't said it in ages, but I have said it in the past, is because I understand, and that's the things that we teach, is that that which you keep repeating to yourself becomes your reality. I don't want to make that my reality, so I can't keep saying that. But again, we know people are good for saying, I'm not good at remembering names. Let it be somebody they're attracted to. I don't care how complicated the name is, they will remember. Matter of fact, they'll get you to spell it. They'll have you break it down so they can pronounce it because that's a name. It's impact, which we talk about all the time. Impact, is, it works. That's what gets people to keep things in their memory is impact. So if there is no impact, then the memory, like in this young lady's case, I'm driving through. There's no impact. I'm not making any impact on her life. She's not paying any attention whatsoever. She's in her own little world, probably thinking what she's going to do after work or whatever the case may be. But she's not paying any attention at all. 
I tried to be as clear as possible. I know you guys know my order now. Mustard, lettuce, extra pickles, and onions. That's it. Only. <laughs> but, again, she wasn't paying attention because no impact. So, but again, in the beginning stages, when a person says, can I help you? We're there. We're, 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 we're listening. We're paying close attention. The longer, unfortunately, that you're in relationships, people stop listening. People start to tune you out. People think they know what you're about to say. People start to believe, I know you. I know how you're going to respond. I know it. Folks, make sure you don't get into that habit. I always said that's what causes relationship friction and issues. No one knows anyone that well. We don't know ourselves. Things happen in our lives where a thing that we believed yesterday, because of something happened today, our perspective changes. But we don't go tell the world that our perspective changed. We know it's changed. But see, your partner thinks you still believe and think the way you used to. So if something comes up, they automatically think, well, I know how you would respond. No, 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 no. That's not true anymore. Things have occurred that have changed my perspective. Now, if it's something huge, in most cases, you're going to have that conversation with your partner because it impacted you in such a way that you guys will have a conversation. And maybe in that particular instance, if it's really huge, they will see the shift or know the shift because you'll have a conversation with them. So my thing is, let's get good. Like when a person gives you order, and especially when you've been in a relationship for a while, you really have to get better at feeding it back to a person in terms of like with the order. I, 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 I tried to feed it back. <laughs> I, I did. I tried to feed it back to her a few times. But you try to feed it back and said, did you get what I'm saying? Not how you perceived what I said. And by saying it back is you get them to actually repeat it to you, which I could have done. I could have had her even after she said, got it. I could have said, well, could you repeat that to me? And that's what I'm saying you need to do in relationships. Can you repeat that to me? Or if you're sharing it with a partner, you just tell them. So if I understand this is what you want me to do, or if I understand this is what you wanted to hear or whatever, I mean, whatever the conversation, because if you do that, it leaves because what happens is when you don't get clear and you go do it the way you perceive what they meant, all of a sudden they mad at you. I had a young lady in the car today, matter of fact, I was talking about that. She was talking about her and her boss, how they don't see eye to eye. And she said, when she takes the initiative and she goes and does stuff on her own, then the lady screaming at her and, 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 and talking down to her because she had the initiative to go do it herself. And it's like, that's not the way I wanted it. And then she said, but at the same time, if she goes and asks the manager, how do you want this done? Then she's offended at the fact that you came and asked me instead of just doing it. And that's, again, what happens in relationship. But we have to be willing to have those open lines of communication because I can tell, listen to her, they got some serious issues. Either she going to get fired or she's going to quit because I can tell the way she talks, the way she sees her manager it's getting bad. She's only been there for a couple of months. So she's going to explode on her. She was, she had even made the comment, but she, she'd be willing to push the lady in a, in a pond of alligators. So I was like, wow. She said with no hesitation. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. But hopefully she was just playing. But anyway, <laughs> bottom line is if you don't have those communication skills and you guys don't talk to each other, the relationship is doomed. Do not that's why when I talk about love, uh, you know, when we talk about the love languages, knowing what your partner's language actually is, do not think, I know what they want. I know if I go buy her some roses, this is what she wants. I think I've shared that in, with you guys in the past where I was buying my wife roses all the time. And it got to the point where when I brought her roses, she said, oh, thank you. And then she may go set them on the table. I know she didn't mean to offend me and she wasn't trying to hurt my feelings or anything like that, but I took it as they obviously have lost their value. She doesn't really care. It doesn't have an impact. She's gotten so used to them now that they don't have that same meaning. She had to get on me, though, because I had stopped doing it all together and she had to get on me one day. You know, she's about, well, I didn't mean for you to stop giving them because I told her I said, well, it seemed like you appreciate them. And she said, no, that's not it. She says, well, you could do it sometimes. You didn't have to cut it out altogether. 
And folks, that is true. I didn't have to cut it out totally. I just did that because I'm like, oh, she don't appreciate it. One of those little spoiled, spoiled brat things I did. You know, like, hmm, she don't appreciate my, I ain't going to buy her no roses. But you don't stop totally. But you know what I mean? You're going to have to maybe come up with something else to bring her or at different times, bring her the roses instead of every other week, maybe bring her once a month or once every couple of months or whatever. But don't lose that in your relationship. You got to always figure out what is it that I can do to make my partner feel significant. That's something you can never, ever lose. But anyway, so the Burger King thing, like I said, it was just funny to me because here it is. I thought we were communicating. I thought we had some clarity. I thought we were on the same page. But after I got my order, I could see all lines of communication was off. That creates frictions in relationships. And so anyway, I can, I'll take my part of that responsibility because like I always said, this is about taking responsibility for your part. My part in that, not, not getting mad and offended with her, is saying, I should have had her read it back when she said, got it. Because I already knew. Honestly, you guys know, you've, you've done it, where you just know when you talk to them, you go, they didn't get it. I'm going to get the wrong order. And, and, and that's probably me speaking it into existence. And it doesn't matter because you know how we talk about law of attraction, that which you put out becomes reality. So maybe I helped that become reality. But the bottom line is I still had the vibe. This burger is not going to be made correctly. I just knew it because I felt that way. I could have had her clarify and say, could you one more time? You know, I just want to make sure I gave it to you because folks don't attack people. I'm telling you now, especially, especially, especially at a drive through restaurant. Who was it? The guy who was saying that he said he was in the car with someone and they pulled up and she got into a verbal argument with the person as she's at the drive through the person that's speaking and she's sitting there screaming at the person and he said and then she asked me well what do you want he said nothing now he said i ain't ordered nothing for me <laughs> and i agree my man said they get ready to make your food and you just got through acting crazy no i <laughs> i do not want them to make my food that they get ready to give me you guys know what we're talking about. People can do some very cruel things if you offend them, and especially something like a drive through That's why I said in this case, because you shouldn't be offending people anyway, but in this particular case, I could have said it politely and go, you know what, and put it on me. Because, see, people can take it if you put it on yourself. That's why even with comedians, when you can crack jokes about yourself, that's why Kevin Hart is so funny. People can get offended when you attack them because it becomes personal. But if you take it on yourself, I could have fed it back to her and said, you know what? I just want to make sure I gave it to you right. Could you repeat it to me one more time? You know, I want to make sure I gave you the right thing. See, I'm taking the blame for it if it's messed up. Although I know I was very, very clear on what it is I wanted. So, but then when I got to the counter and I saw it, we could have corrected it right then. I could have said, you know what, my fault, you know, I, I, I thought I said, I made it clear that there was no cheese and, to, and it was okay to put onions on it. You guys see, but I know some people be, like, I ain't doing all that. I'm going to tell them, you, I didn't ask for my burger this way. Okay. Again, that's adding unnecessary stress into your life. So same thing in your relationships. As much as the blame that you can put on you and not attack your partner, and that's why, again, I, I talk about uh, getting good at telling stories. When you're able to tell a story in a way that the analogy we used was the one where the husband was a football fanatic. And the wife said, you know what, when I first got on the team, I felt like I was a star. And, you know, you put me on your shoulders. Um, you put me on commercials. I mean, you made sure I was in front of the line. I mean, I was a star. But now I feel like you know, I'm on the third string, maybe actually sitting on the bench. At times, I, I don't even think you realize that I'm even on the team. So I guess what I'm saying is play me or trade me. Now, those that know any kind of sports or anything like that understand when a person asks for a trade, all jokes aside, 
this is serious. But she's speaking his language. You have to be able to talk in a way that people understand what it is you're talking about. So you got to be able to tell the story in that way. So, but anyway, but all I wanted to do on the, on the, and use the Burger King as a perfect example. And as I said before, I'm using Burger King. You guys know it happens at all the restaurants, especially when you're doing drive throughs It even happens when you do sit down in restaurants, they bring the food different than what you ask for. You ask for uh, medium well, they bring it raw, or you ask for raw and, and they bring you medium well. I mean, it's, it's the real world. But try not to blow up on people and try to communicate in a way that they don't feel attacked. You'll get your best service that way. And again, I know there's some people, my dad was one of those, that his philosophy has always been, find out who the manager is and I'll get what I want. So he could be very rude to, <laughs> to, the, reg to the, the regular employees because he's like, you can't do nothing. I want to talk to the person in charge. And... Hopefully he's learned a lot. I've, I've tried to share that with him over and over because I've always been in management and everything that I've worked in, every company I've worked for. And I've always told him, people like you, I'll do what it takes to get you out of the store. And that's all I'm going to do. Just what it takes to get you out. I may even give you the item that you're asking for, which you, which you think is all you wanted, but I'm not going to do anything extra. The person that handles me very professionally and say, this is kind of what I was asking and this is what happened. I go, you know what? I apologize. And folks, this is something I would never do. And I tell people you should never do it. Never, ever put your employees and embarrass them in front of the customers. Now, that's a whole nother conversation, but you should never do it. Always have your employees back because they're going to be there with you. Now, you could talk to them later if there's an issue. But my thing would always be, you know what? They did what they're trained to do. Um, you know what? But I'm going to take care of this for you. And so, but I used to tell them that I will do just what it takes to get you out of the store. The person that act, comes in and acts like they have some sense, not only am I going to take care of them, I'm going to look to see if we got some coupons or if we give some free meals or we get something extra that we could to incent them to come back. See, I ain't trying to incent you to come back. And folks, I do understand the employees are always right. I, 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 at first, I never believed that philosophy when I was younger before I got in management. But I understand they're always right because the only way a customer knows how to get back at you is to do business with someone else. So you can't lose your customers. And that's where that philosophy comes from, that the customer is always right. With that said, there are cus certain customers that I'm okay losing. And I think all companies, there are certain people you're okay with losing. And I told him, and I was telling him, you would be one of those customers I'd be okay with losing. Because the fact is, anyone that's going to downgrade or to try to degrade my employees is someone I don't want inside my store. But anyway, we got off. I got off on a tangent there. But but so the whole thing here is I just wanted to share that with you guys. The fact that Burger King is a perfect example of communication, being able to talk, make sure we're on the same page, make sure we're headed in the same direction. Let's get some clarity so that we don't have these bigger issues down the line in our relationship. Like what ends up in most drive drive through situations, you don't find out till you get home. And in this case, you open up the burger and you got cheese and no onions, and you're allergic to cheese or dairy dairy products or whatever the case may be. So you're hot because you have a burger made the way you don't want it, which is cooked onto your burger, and this creates more chaos. So again, make sure you guys communicate. And I know you guys get you guys understand where I'm coming from. All companies do it. Just make sure we 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 uh get some clarity. So as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong, it is my opinion. Uh, make sure that if, if you guys are here for Self Love Monday, I'll talk to you on Monday. If you're here for Relationship Thursday, again, I look forward to list, talking to you again on Relationship Thursday. Uh, make sure you get over and I did three new uh, video series that I just released. One is uh, basically the remake of my book, but I did it in video form. I didn't actually read the book. I took the topics talked about majority of the stuff in, in the book, and I just expanded on a lot of the different topics. So that's the first series, which is my book. The second one is a uh, series I did is called um, Finding Love video series, which is helping you um, first recognize what is love and then how to find it. 
And then the third video series is committed relationship. For those of you who are into or looking for that committed relationship or want to strengthen the current one that you're in. So anyway, I got a, a discount code over at the, it's on ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Myers are spelled M-Y-E-R-S. Uh, and I say that only because most people spell it M-E-Y. Go over there. The discount's there. Take a look at it. Awesome. Um information i did uh basically if you go over there and get the discount it's it's pretty much getting all three for almost the same price that you would get to get for one and i designed it that way because it is a new release i want to get it in as many hands as possible and um again i'm i'm not going to say how long because i don't know how long i'm gonna keep it at that price but right now that's what i'm offering it at so go over there and get your copies and i look forward to talking to you guys next week and whatever you're doing remember if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.